hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i'm dre marie and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do this cute nude red bottom set i was gonna have to hit his ass one of or maybe even one of these it's not a game it's a red skin. everyone so this video is gonna be a little different not really different just um i just have a lot to talk to you guys about i have a lot to say there's a lot that i want to get off my chest because y'all this is crazy like beyond me crazy like yes So before I start rambling on about what I want to talk to you guys about, I'm going to explain what I'm doing in the video. So as you saw um, a few seconds ago, I kind of just roughed up the surface of the nail so that I can easily glue on the nail tips. And y'all know I'm using my favorite extra, 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 extra long stiletto tips from Amazon. And I will link it down in the description box. And I'm just going to glue all of these on and cut them down a little bit and shape the nail. Um, I already do like the shape of these nails, so I'm just going to clean up the free edge and, um, you know, give it a more, like, a little taper square look. So while I'm filing these nails, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about a little something. Like, I'm so eager to upload this video and do this voiceover because, y'all, it's just so much, like. And y'all probably like, girl, you beating around a bush. Like, what's tea? What's tea, Drea? Y'all, I'm finna tell you what's tea. Your girl got her first hater, y'all. Her first hater. Yes, a hater. So, the day I ended up posting my stiletto video, the glitter ombre stiletto video, it was like 10 ish, or maybe the ass crack it on that day. I'm not really 200, but I know it was early in the morning, y'all. I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and check my email. And I was so excited to post the video, really, because it came out bomb as fuck. Like, can't nobody tell me them nails didn't come out nice as hell. Anyways, let me check my email. I go to check my email. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I usually don't open all my emails. I just click on the ones that I'm familiar with. But you guys know how in your email it shows, like, a little preview of what in the email like what the email says or whatever and something caught my eye something caught my eye y'all wanna know what this shit said it said kill yourself that's literally like what I saw because that shit was in all caps so I'm like the fuck is this so I clicks on it I don't know the sender I don't know the email I'm not familiar with I don't know a person by that name at all um, I kind of thought it was spam at first. I was about to move that shit onto my trash can. But I goes to read the email. This is what the email said. And I wish I had a screenshot, but the way how I don't do that negative energy stuff. Pause. You see how that pinky going back and forth? Yes, you can't have nice things with kids. My son got a hold of it, and that was the end of it for little pinky. I was going to have to hit his ass with one of or maybe even one of these that shit went right to my junk mail but it said um i'm trying too hard with this youtube thing and it's a million people on youtube that do nails so why i'm trying to do nails and i need to kill myself and i'm just like <laughs> i was so shocked it's like going into this youtube thing y'all I knew I had to be mentally prepared for shit like this because I knew it was a matter of time before, you know, that that would happen. But y'all, when I say I did not think it was going to happen that soon because little old me with 24 subscribers, ain't no way I'm hitting a bitch chest that hard for them to go out their way. And email me that, y'all. I was just, I read it so many times. But pause on that story real quick. Let me jump in and tell y'all what I'm doing right here. Um, I'm doing as if I was doing a regular client's nail. I'm going to go in with a small clear bead of acrylic and lay down on the natural nail. And for these right bottoms nail, 
I'm using my not polish fine engine red. This red is bomb as fuck. It's like you know that color red lipstick your parents used to tell you not to wear when you was a little child because you know why? Yes, that's the color that it was given. And when you're doing this, you just want to use a small bead because you don't want it to be too thick. You just want it to be enough for it to show underneath the nail. And um, if anyone out there is similar like me, please just make sure you use clear tips. Don't use natural color tips, y'all. Don't. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this step on all the nails. So boom, y'all. Back to what I was saying. Back to the story. So I see the email and I'm reading it. I'm like, no, like this can't, like my eyes must be playing tricks on me. Your girl must be tripping. But I'm like, it's really that deep. Like for somebody to go out their way and send an email like that to a complete stranger, someone they don't know from Adam and Eve. It's just, it's just so funny to me. And honestly, I know y'all gonna ask like, was I mad? Was I mad? No, I was not mad because that's the type of motivation I need. Like, yes. If you don't got no headers, you're not doing something right. And for me, with my little 24, 24 little subscribers with my 40 views per video, it's like, girl, you really mad? Mad for what? Like, I literally don't have shit when it comes to this YouTube thing. You feel me? Like, I'm just not getting started. Just not getting started. And you see, hold up. Let me just make this clear. The old me, the old me would have read her ass. Or read his ass whoever that person was i would have read them from a to z y'all yes but the new me y'all i'm a changed person and i just want i want peace i want happiness there's literally no reason why i'm gonna let somebody i don't know enter on my peace and get me out of character because that's just not me anymore and if your aim was to hurt my feelings baby you feel like you feel poorly like Y'all, and I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, well, it must bother you if you're responding to it and you're talking about it. Actually, no, because in my head, y'all, I take this as a milestone. Baby, I am proud. Like, yes, yeah, like, this made me feel good because it's like, like I said before, going into this YouTube thing, I knew that stuff like this was eventually gonna happen. I just didn't think it was gonna be so soon with my 40 views and my 20 subscribers like i never ever thought it was gonna happen this fast next i'm gonna go in with my new panther from that polish and i'm just gonna cover that um put that color just basically on the entire nail I'm not building up the thickness of the nail and still while doing this I am doing a thin layer because I do like to go with my clear acrylic and build up my nail and create my apex with my clear acrylic so I'm just going to make sure that I cover up um, the entire nail and make sure that you cannot see the red through it so you want to make it thin but also thick enough where the red isn't showing through that nude so back to what i was saying guys you know me being me i don't let stuff bother me like if it don't involve my kids that shit not gonna hit my chest at all or whatever but i'm not even gonna cap it was literally for a split second i kind of lost my stuff and i texted my sister i texted my man i'm like so why do a bitch want to target me little on me that don't bother nobody i stay to myself i literally i can't even count on one hand how many friends i have because i don't have friends i have family so if i call you my family just know i fuck with you um i don't have friends at all and that's facts like i don't go out i stay at my house because there's too much shit going on out here for a bitch to just you feel me be caught up in some shit and be at the wrong place at the wrong time type of situation but yes i did lose myself for a split second i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm gonna keep it a buck like, why do a bitch want to talk with me? Why do a bitch want to fuck with me? And I don't talk to nobody. I don't mess with nobody. I stay to myself. I'm on my own business, okay? But then, also, me being me, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to analyze shit. I'm going to think about stuff until that shit start adding up. So, I'm like, boom. For somebody, like, no complete stranger is just going to email somebody that they don't know and say the things that was said in that email. So, boom. I'm like, it gotta be somebody that know me. It gotta be somebody that don't already like me from my current life right now. 
And I'm thinking, I'm like, who could it be? And I know it's plenty of bitches that don't like me and I don't care because I wasn't put on this earth to please nobody but myself. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm not gonna sit here and bust my brain about a bitch who probably don't have no edges who's sitting behind a computer screen, a phone screen, just you know, like worried about the next bitch and what I got going on. So I'm like, you know what? F this. I took the email and I put it in my put it in my trash because baby girl, thank you. Because at the end of the day, you still gave me that view, you still gave me that watch time. So baby, thank you. Um, I want to take this time out actually um, and talk to the ones like if you're watching this um, I know that there's people out there that's not mentally strong enough to handle situations like this um, there's people I actually had this really close friend of mine that actually committed suicide due to bullying and that's something that I don't condone I don't condone a bitch that think that they're gonna sit there and be a big bad bully because baby I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you like that right there I don't ever even as a parent y'all I can't imagine like what I would do if you know I found out somebody was bullying my kids because that'll be the day like y'all I'm, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind and that's just something I don't condone and I want to say like just don't let stuff like that get to you. I know sometimes it's hard because, you know, like I said, not everyone is mentally strong enough to take on stuff like that, to handle stuff like that. But this is something that I had to learn from life myself. I'm 24 years old. I have two kids, right? And through school, you know, I was never a bully. I was never bullied. Nobody ever bullied me. But this is just something that I had to learn because this life that we live in, this life people can be very nasty people can be very mean um just because you know things might not be going good in their life so they take it out on other people and bully them um so what i want to say is whether you're doing good in life or whether you're doing bad in life people are still going to talk regardless you could be do doing good in life people still going to find something to say like Say you have a house and a car, boom, somebody's going to say, oh, why would she get a house for, first without a car? Why would she get a car first before a house? If you're doing bad, people are still going to talk. In this life that we live, people are always watching you. People are watching your every move just so they can have something to talk about. People, know, people are nosy as fuck. You get what I'm saying? People are nosy as fuck. And that's just something I had to learn because I'm not going to lie. I used to be one of those people that I had to make sure, you know, when I was in school, I had to have every shoe that came out. I had to dress nice, you know, like you're not going to catch me wearing the same shirt two times in one week or something because I don't want nobody to talk about me. Oh, this bitch is dirty as fuck. Oh, she only got one pair of shoes. Like, yes, I used to be that type. But as I got older... You know, I just realized a lot of stuff and I just had to just have that mentality where it's like, I don't give a fuck because a bitch is going to talk regardless. What It doesn't matter what you're doing. People, somebody's always watching you and people are always going to have something to say. And one thing that you should never do, y'all, don't ever compare your situation to another person's situation. Like, you're not going to be on the same level as everyone. You feel what I'm saying? So don't look at this person and be like damn i wish that was me like how do they have that and i don't have that don't do that because god god makes no mistakes and another advice y'all slow progression is better than no progression at all so just because um you and this person started the race at the same time it does not mean you guys are going to finish the same time your your steps and your obstacles is never going to be the same as the next person because god makes a path for everyone and your path is not going to be the same as the next person because everything that happens throughout your journey to get to your destination and get to where you want to be in life that's all a part of your story and that's all you know it's all in god's plan don't ever question his plan don't ever question his will because it's to make you the person that you're destined to be you can be down bad on your worst on your last don't ever question it just you just gotta have faith and you gotta pray because better days are coming you know like better days are coming you you have to be hopeful you know you can't go through this life and not have faith and if you don't know this 
if you do not know this, I'm going to tell you right now. So listen up. Don't be jealous of nobody because jealous, jealousy is consuming. Jealousy is toxic as hell. And if you ever find yourself being envious, being jealous, it's a sign of fear. Like, it's a sign, you know, of fear of not you thinking that you're not good enough. Do not think like that. Don't have that mentality because, baby girl, it's going to break you down and it's going to eat you alive. That's not something that you want to have. You do not want to have no type of hate, no type of jealousy in your heart because that shit is toxic. It is consuming. I'm just talking, 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 and the video just going, going, going. Right here in this part of the video, I'm just going in with my Mia Secret Claire, and I'm encapsulating on my nails, and I'm creating that thickness that I want, giving the nail the structure, so, you know, your nail don't pop off, because that's one thing you don't want. Building my apex, building the thickness of my nail, and if you guys can see the red um, on the side of the nails, don't worry about that. It's going to look like that. Um, when you go into file and reshape your nails, it's going to you're gonna see like it's gonna look 10 times better trust the process after i finish encapsulating on my nails i'm gonna go in with my 100 with 80 grit nail file and i'm just gonna reshape these nails um file the surface take out all those bumps in the acrylic application because my it's my acrylic application is not smooth yet like i do have to go in with some filing and that's okay that's okay practice makes perfect and i'm gonna get to the point where your girl not gonna have to pick up no file after no application you hear me so i'm just gonna go in and i'm gonna file and you're gonna see like as i'm filing that red that is peeking through on the side of the nail it's gonna go bye bye because we're gonna clean that up and make it look nice so boom watch this watch this you see the red now you don't <laughs> yes Yeah, I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. So as I'm doing this voiceover, I get to me a notification on my phone. I got a new subscriber, so now I have 27 subscribers, and I'm so, so, so excited. You know, even though it's 27 subscribers, y'all gonna be like, girl, that's only 27. Calm down. Well, listen. I'm up there. Do you hear me? I am proud of my 26 subscribers. And if you are subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for liking me enough to hit that subscribe button. Like, I'm a little slow sometimes, I'm, I admit. But baby, I'm funny, okay? And you you just don't want to miss my videos because baby, I'll make you laugh. I will make you laugh because I'm a fun person, you know? And I just got that energy. I'm that friend that you need in your little circle. Even though I don't have a circle. You, you listen, you just you just need me in your in your YouTube, you know, circle. And even if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you're just you know watching my videos, I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, I'm not gonna force nobody to subscribe. Like, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Even though yes, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you do watch my videos and you like it, just give me a, a big thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate it. And even if you're you know subscribed to my Instagram or. I still appreciate every last one of you, every one of you guys that watch my videos, even if you don't like, even if you don't subscribe or comment, I do appreciate it and thank you guys so, so, so much because baby, I'm up there and my, can't nobody tell me nothing with my 27 subscribers, like period, like can't nobody tell me nothing. This is exactly what I mean about don't watch nobody else and judge your situation based off of them because i can easily say damn like this person just started youtube the same time i started youtube and they have 100 why do i only have 27 like baby i'm not no hater congratulations to you and your 100 subscribers but baby i got 27 <laughs> like i'm proud of my 27 like just be thankful for what you have I'm so hurt about my pinky finger. Like, I can't believe my son, he's two years old. He'll be three in August. I'm just so hurt. Like, he really took my thing. Like, he must have woke up that day and chose violence. Because why you had to do my stuff like that? 
And y'all know, Lady Bonahan's not cheap at all. Even though I was gifted this by my man. Y'all, it's not cheap. Like, he really sat there and broke my pinky finger. Like, that thing, dude, is not posable. The pinky finger is not posable no more. And I'm just so hurt. I'm debating if I want to buy another one or not. Probably not until all my fingers get messed up. Because it still does what it needs to do. But I'm just, my feelings just kind of hurt. Like, why would you do that? You have all your toys that you can go mess up. But you want to come and touch my stuff. And you want to just mess it up. It's okay, though. He's a baby. He's a little kid. He's still learning. He don't know no better. So, I'm going in with my good old buffer block from Amazon. And I'm buffing the nails, taking out all those scratches that was caused by the file. And then after this, you guys, is the fun part. Gonna take some swipe from your nails and remove all that dust from the nails. Um, Cause you know, it's a practice hand. It's not like I'm gonna say, yo, go wash your hands. So I'm just gonna use a lint-free wipe and some swipe and just remove all that dust so I can go in and start applying my rhinestones. This is how it looks after the application and the shaping of the nails with the file. They look so good, y'all. So this right here, this is actually a bling it kit, a bling it box from Not Polish. Um, I was actually, I won a giveaway from them and they sent me this along with some other items. Thank you to Not Polish for that. Um, y'all, this is the first time I'm actually opening this bling it rhinestone box and i've had it for like a year now um it's good quality like i was really surprised at how nice like these rhinestones were like they, they shine like really really nice like yes um i did look on the website and if you do want want to purchase this it, i think it's like 99 dollars so roughly a hundred dollars for this box um do I think it's worth it? It's up to you on um, what your budget is and what you're willing to spend. I know that you can go on like Amazon and find um, something identical to this. But like I said, you're paying for the quality. So, yes. And I am using my flashlight to flash cure them in place. Because, y'all, when I tell you I had to cut so much of this video out. Because this is just me chasing the damn rhinestones to put them back in place. Um, and I am using not polished gem gel. I'm not gonna lie. It's not um, As like it's thick, but the rhinestones are still gonna slide So I do recommend to flash cure them in place and just continue on So just do like one little section at a time and go on Um, I do want to try if anybody is watching this and you made it this far in the video if you've ever tried Zule's um, bling adhesive, please let me know down below in the comments if you like it or not because I don't know I just don't want to invest my little ten dollars um, and buy it because y'all if I could find something cheaper I would but I've always heard good things about it well I'm not gonna say I've heard good things about it but I know a few youtubers that do use the um, Dulé's bling adhesive so if you do have it and you tried it please let me know how you like it um, and actually now that I think about it, having, you know, the not polished gem gel is an amazing um, gem gel. Like it holds all your stuff in place and I've never had no rhinestones pop off when I do my nails. Um, and it's also a good thing because like me, I changed up the placement, the rhinestone placement so many times. So if it, if it wasn't for the gem gel not drying so fast, um, I would not have had time to move them around. So it does give you enough time to um, place your rhinestones where you want it. If you change your mind last minute, you do have time to, you know, but it does get frustrating having to chase them and put them back in place. So that's why I do recommend flash curing it if you're like 100% positive that that's where you want your stones to be placed. Now I'm going with my Beatles top coat from Amazon. You guys know if you've watched my previous videos that I use this because, you know, it's on my practice hand. And I don't want to use, like, a, my higher quality um, top coats. Like, my not, I do have Not Polish, um, which is my favorite gel top coat. I haven't really experimented with a, um, with a lot of brands, but I do just use my Beatles for practice purposes only. 
and like I said like I always say it's good quality I do like it you just have to um, go on with the lint free wipe and some swipe or some what alcohol and just take off that tacky surface that's gonna be left there once it's done flash curing um, cuz stuff will stick to it so it's not one of those no non wipe no wipe top coats and then always you guys this is something that I've learned watching other youtubers on um, that do nails always wipe off your stones because sometimes glue does get stuck on it so yes always wipe it off you guys look at this this is the finished product I'm very pleased with how these turned out sorry if you guys hear you know hear somebody in the background that's my minute out there um look at that yeah these expensive these is red bottoms these bloody shoes anyways y'all thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video